Hey folks, let's learn some more about the oil and gas industry. Okay, today we're in beautiful New Orleans, Louisiana at the Society for Petroleum Engineers Annual Technical Conference and Expo. And this show is unbelievable. I have never seen it this busy in the last 15 years. Full of vendors, full of the upstream guys, some of the midstream guys are here, a lot of new technology on the floor. Um, overall, just a high energy place. And if you're looking to sell into the oil and gas industry, this is where you need to be. All right, this show is gonna have a laser focus on the Society for Petroleum Engineers Annual Technical Conference and Expo. So that's S-P-E-A-T-C-E. -E. We're gonna talk about what you and your company need to do to successfully have an exhibit booth um, at this event. So first thing, make sure you schedule customer appointments weeks ahead of time. Your clients will be at this show, your salespeople need to reach out to them and invite them to their booths, and not one time, but multiple times. Um, this type of uh, before show um, activity increases the results of your money that you spend at the SPE ATCE. That's very important. Um, number two, schedule appointments with any editors that are going there. So any of the trade rags um, will have their, um, in, in the oil and gas vertical, will have their editors there walking the floor. Schedule some time. It's a way to get some great free publicity for your product and your company and your booth, um, and it costs you absolutely nothing. Number three, um, host a breakfast or a lunch track. Um, this is a very good bang for your buck. We do this with our clients all the time. You basically come up with a subject uh, that your uh, prospects would have an interest in and then sponsor a track on it. Um, it's a great ROI for, the, um, for this show. Next thing, meal sponsorship that the um, SPE will try to push you is not worth it ever. Ignore it, walk away from it. Um, also, make sure you have a marketing person, not just a salesperson at the booth. The problem is salespeople quickly either identify people as potential prospects or not and treat them accordingly. The marketing guys can look at everybody as a lead and make sure they're followed up on. And that's what you're actually generating at this event. You're actually generating leads. You're not going to sell anything. It's a mistake I see a lot of people making. It's something that we help our clients understand. Your booth should be manned with marketing and salespeople, not just salespeople. Um, next thing. Make sure you tri triage your traffic. So you should have some people up front that qu quickly qualify a prospect. Is it somebody that may have an interest in your product or, or solution that you sell? If they do, then A, you push them back to the next group of people who further qualify them and get their contact information. And then finally, you actually send them to the subject matter expert for a deep dive. This way you get your important people talking to the high level prospects and the people that just stop them by for your free trinkets, you quickly get them going the other way. Um, don't buy space in literature racks. Once again, that's a waste of money and time. I've never seen that help whatsoever. Um, also, don't spend a lot of money on trinkets to give away. People are there to learn. Your clients, the people that are going to buy from you are there to learn, not for the freebies. Um, the freebies are a nice thing to do, but don't waste a lot of money on that. Um, also, don't give away literature to unqualified um, prospects. I see this all the time. People giving away the product literature, which has a cost to every single person that walks by. Most that ends up in the trash. And what you do is you set yourself up as a commodity by automatically giving that stuff out and people are going to devalue your booth experience. Um, now, at the SPE ATCE, since a lot of people that are walking the floor have an engineering background, Put something in your booth that moves. I don't know what it is, but engineers love moving parts and pieces, and that will attract more people to your booth than anything else. Um, also, on that note, be tasteful. Please know booth girls. It's okay if you have some of your female marketing and salespeople there dressed um, business casual, but stop the booth girl people, please, really. I mean, it, it makes us all look bad. Um, Demos should really never be done on the front of your, your exhibit. If you have a big enough exhibit to have a demo in the back, that's great. But what you should really do is schedule demos so you can create buzz. You have one every three hours, every four hours. Don't have one running in the front of the booth. It devalues you. Um, and then something you may not think of, extra carpet padding, when you go ahead and put up the money, is well worth it, both for your people and for your clients or prospect. They're more likely to stand around your booth if it's more comfortable than stand on the hard floor. Haven't thought about that, but I've seen it work over and over and over again. Um, Pre-show mail-ins, skip it. Waste of time. Instead, spend your time on social media. Uh, LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, and hype up your event weeks ahead of time, and don't let it stop. Um, also, have a huddle with your booth members before the, it opens to attendees. Make sure everybody understands their duties. 
Um, and speaking of that, make sure you train your booth staff. So many booths I see, get, they get set up and they stick their salespeople in there. It's not a good environment for salespeople. You need specifically trained people for your booths to manage that, that prospect from a, a qualified lead all the way to, to uh, you know, an actual um, uh, handoff to your salespeople. Um, then here's something else I see all the time. After the show, Follow up on the leads. I mean, you may get two or three hundred of them, and I've seen people wait months to follow up. Don't do that. Have a team set aside, especially to follow up those leads immediately. In fact, one of the things that we do with our clients most often is we have them set up an inside team that the booth um, employees, the marketing salespeople booth, feed those leads to them every evening so that that next morning those inside salespeople are following up right away. Um, and then finally, when you leave, make sure that the SPE gives you a list of all the people that uh, signed up for your breakfast track or whatever. They'll give it to you in an Excel spreadsheet. That's a hot list of prospects, and a lot of people just walk away from that, which is crazy. So hopefully this helps. This is one of the best events. I get. We get more results with our clients at this event than almost any other. So if you need anything else from us that may help you with the SPE, ATCE, just reach out and we'll be happy to help you.